In the life of every airsofter, we are in the constant search for the perfect replica that won't break the bank. Searching far and wide, we scour every corner of the internet between new and used, between reputable websites and some not so reputable websites. Sometimes we do back alley deals and sometimes we do them in Walmart parking lots. And every so often, when the stroke of destiny comes, we just so happen to find that perfect deal. The task is not done yet. Sometimes we must go to the gatekeepers of our destiny and beg for them to let us fulfill it. Hello? Can I have an airsoft gun? No! I'm gonna do it anyway. After we fight with the gods to seize this destiny, we can finally capture our prize and hold it dear and let the world know that we have conquered the most impossible. If you are like me and you have had to fight this battle, then you know how it feels to conquer the world and become the man-child with his new toy. This is the story of Runner Runner Airsoft and Barbie, his Masada. Thank you all for checking out the channel, and while you're here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell to keep up with all of my shenanigans. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Royce. I am your runner runner. Welcome back to a gear review, something I don't do very often. And this review, I promise you, is long overdue because I am reviewing the infamous Barbie today. This is my Magpul PTS Masada. And for those of you out there going, no, that's not a Masada, that's an ACR. Here's the box. I've kept it for years. Usually I shoot holes in them, but nope, I kept that one because I found out this is a rare find. Not only is it a rare find because it looks like an ACR but says Masada on it, it's also a rare find because on the side there, if the camera will focus, ooh, the camera's not focusing. It says Magpul Industries. Erie, Colorado, USA. Magpul hasn't been in Erie for a number of years. Story behind this replica is uh, about six months before I started the channel, if not a little more. The airsoft replicas that we were playing with, little $80 things to get back into the sport just weren't cutting it. But I knew I couldn't go out and spend four or $500 on some ridiculous like Crytac or something like that. So I scoured Craigslist and waited for a fantastic deal to show up. I ended up getting three replicas that day. I got a FAMAS, a G36C, both of which I no longer own, and this, the Masada, for I think $160. But I also got batteries and a bunch of other stuff, so we'll call it $150 for the replicas and then all the extras that he sent with it. Out of all of them, this is the one that I like the most. I didn't know. I actually went because I was trying to learn about this thing uh, later on. And I was trying to find out, hey, what works best? I might need a hop-up unit. What's going on? The thing admittedly had some bad parts in it because A and K did not do their due diligence on a lot of the internals. The externals, though, are fairly solid. I actually went into a 
Magpul PTS Masada is there, you know, a PTS Masada, Magpul Masada, whatever you want to call it, owners group on Facebook, and basically received a lot of hate being told by people that this is not a Magpul gun. They would not be associated with Cybergun because that's how this thing was manufactured. Basically, they got the licensing and had to uphold some of the quality control that Magpul wanted them to uphold. I was told under no circumstances is this a gun and I didn't know what the hell I was talking about when I was just trying to research this thing. So admittedly, what I love about this is it has Masada on the side of it and on the box. So I get to make all those uh, Masada boys mad. <laughs> Let's get into how this thing has treated me over the years and how it's performed. Um, I have wanted to break it so many times. I've just wanted to snap it over my knee, throw it in a garbage truck, and just watch it go down the road. <laughs> I wish I could be a little bit. It, it, it works wonderfully now. When this thing works, my God, does it work. But getting it there, oh, she has been very mean to me over the years. I have gone through hop-up units. I've gone through, I think, three gearboxes. I think I'm on the fourth. I think I'm on the fourth or the fifth. I'm pretty sure it's the fourth gearbox in this thing that's just completely exploded inside of it. Uh, due to the A and K uh, version two gearbox, but I was told that that's the shape that works. I have had parts go out on me. I've had the um, the mag release go out on me. There's I, I've had to replace tons of parts in this thing, but finally, after years, I finally got it to work. But it sounds like a barking dog now when it shoots. <laughs> so let's go over some of the things that initially I loved about it that still hold true today. The externals, I believe, are fine with the exception of, obviously, any sort of a stock that has um, a mechanism here to, you know, uh, fold on. So any sort of a stock with a hinge on it is gonna have a severe weak point. That's just a case in all airsoft replicas. Um, and this is the second stock. This is not the stock that I got the thing with. Um, admittedly, this still had the stickers on it in the box, it was brand new. I think the guy who sold it to me said he took it out, shot it in his backyard, but decided to go with the FAMAS. Um, I'm really glad because this thing was basically just brand new, just dry rotting in a box. Upon using it, I realized that I wanted to upgrade it. I wanted to do more with this thing. I wanted to to learn on it, which is also part of the reason this thing's given me so, much, so many problems. Not necessarily because it's bad, but because this is the thing I learned to tech on. This is, the th this is the thing that has provided me almost the most frustration out of my entire arsenal. So what did I do to it? I cracked open the gearbox, you know, I put a, uh, um, uh, put a new spring in it, put a new piston in it, piston head, I don't even remember where the parts are. Uh, uh, I, I got a uh, stock gearing in it. It now has a gate titan, it's had a gate titan for a while. Uh, it does have a matrix, Godzilla motor. 5,000 uh, and that thing chews through batteries like a uh, kid on candy chews through ha or uh, yeah kid on candy chews through Halloween we'll go with that one we'll go with the kid on Halloween chews through candy um, I have gone through and replaced the stock hop up unit with the metal hop up unit as well as the metal loading nozzle um, I have also replaced the air nozzle as well uh, the air nozzle has been completely replaced with the uh, metal version, which is fantastic. Um, it also has a 509 millimeter inner barrel that comes out to like here, which is why I have this Gemtech mock suppressor on it. Um, in addition to that, I know I hate having stuff wired to the handguard, so I just took it out, put this uh, uh, mock pack box, this little battery box, on top of it. At one point in time, I did run it with the uh, with a folding grip. Uh, which just uh, was a little too cumbersome after a while, so I figured I'd I'd start running it uh, without the grip and see how I like that. Um, again, I have gone through uh, multiple gearboxes. Uh, there's a video on the channel where I say the gearbox cracked, and I show it to the camera, and it's cracked. It's it's done. It's toast. Uh, in addition to that, my wife bought me for Christmas one year this nice little four times. Uh, or three times, three, four, I don't know, something like that. 
I don't know, magnified optic. <laughs> it's a little magnified uh, ACOG here. I uh, also have a sight protector on it and a three quarter inch riser, something like that. I don't know, it's been a long time since I bought all this stuff. This thing has put me through good times and bad times out on the airsoft field. It has frustrated me, it has made me happy. It's overall build quality is still really solid. This body is not what you experience with the newer ACRs of the same body style today. The A and K ACRs have lost their quality control. This thing here has really, really made me never wanna sell it. And then one day when it's broken and I eventually trip over something and snap it in half, I'll just glue it back together the best I can and just hang it on a wall. And I've really had some fantastic times with this. The crack here in the stock was actually right after I got it. It was my first experience at Flat Acres. Uh, <laughs> I hyperextended my knee and it like springboarded me in the air. I hit the ground and <laughs> I shook, I vibrated. It hurt so bad. The gun hit the ground first. I fell like this and I was like, ow, oh, ow, oh, this hurts. <laughs> this uh, dent right here, I also have it on video. That's where I called gun hit when Old Fart Airsoft was uh, blasting his BBs at me. I called gun hit and sure enough, <laughs> he dented the dust cover right here. It has seen its share of use at this point and it has been modified and remodified. Um, one of the things that just confuses people about this is I have a flat hop nub in here and it's one of the taller flat hop nubs with an unmodified promy purple bucking. So it's not flat hopped, but for some reason this thing with the barrel shoots ridiculously well. It still confuses people. They're like, you, you the air volume plus not being flat hopped plus the power level you're shooting, like nothing about this thing says it should shoot as far as it does and yet it do. <laughs> So overall, over the many years I've had this thing and, and just seeing the ups and downs of it and torn it apart and taking it, you know, taking it to task and it's taken me to task. The first time I put a spring in this thing, it almost shot a screwdriver through my phone. I've realized one thing that out of all of the airsoft replicas that I have, this build quality is fantastic the fact that it's a rare find means that it's definitely gonna stay in my collection. And not only that, this thing's kind of like my married partner in Airsoft. Sometimes we fight, but at the end of the day, we always work it out. So thank you guys so much for checking out this review and kind of uh, fond memory session with Barbie, and I hope to see you guys out on the airsoft field, and I look forward to seeing you guys next time right here on Runner, Runner, Airsoft.